I have invited a couple of students who um, have had to make some decisions about what was best for them going back to school and how they've navigated this school year. So I would like to welcome Vince Price and Sadie Newmeyer. So this is Vince and I'm his mom, Tony. And Vince got his transplant. He was 20 months old, so he wasn't quite two. And we were actually super prepared for it because we found out while I was pregnant with him that he was going to have multiple health complications. And so we had the chance to meet with urologists and surgeons and nephrologists and kind of get a game plan in place so that Vince got the very best care from the beginning. And this January, he will be celebrating 10 years. 10 years with his transplant. My family and I had a lot of conversations about what we were gonna do as far as sending Vince back to school with um, COVID the way that it is. Um, these kids who have had organ transplants are on lots of medication and those medications are used to suppress their immune system um, so that their body doesn't attack their kidney. And one of the side effects of being on these medications is you're at a higher risk for getting sick and getting sick really bad. So an average cold knee is going to be way worse in someone like Vince or, or someone else who's had a transplant. Um, our biggest concern is that we send him to school and he gets exposed and gets super sick. So we played, played around with different ideas. We decided, do we keep Vince at home, do online learning with him, send our other kids? And then it made no sense to send the other kids and keep Vince home because then the other kids are being exposed to anything at the school and then bringing it home. And we just decided, and we felt good about sending all of our kids to school. And Vince, one thing that he, is amazing at is washing his hands and I just like the smell of his face. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the smell of my bath and body works so. <laughs> so he washes his hands a lot and so far it's been really good. I think the schools are amazing at placing hand sanitizers everywhere. They've asked the kids to bring their own water bottles because they closed down the water fountains to help minimize germs being spread. And I think they've done a really good job. I feel safe sending Vince to school and I don't think that he's been fearful at all. Um, I am completely amazed with teachers and administrators. I think they need a big pay raise and I'm just really grateful for the teachers and administrators and the kids are in school and I'm crossing my fingers that we can keep them there because there's so much more to going to school than just the education side. There's so much social interaction that these kids need and I hope that we can keep them in school. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Vance. I appreciate you sharing your story. And now I will turn time over to Sadie. And Sadie, will you go ahead and kind of tell us about your transplant and then how back to school has looked for you? I had my transplant in January 2012, which was just over eight and a half years ago. And I had sudden liver failure and they never found a cause. I just got sick and um, they put me on the transplant list. And just a few days later, I had my transplant. Since then, I've had some follow-up surgeries, and I had one two summers ago. And so the whole summer, I just had to not do much of anything to just recover. We chose to do online school this year for a while, um, but I, I didn't want to at first because last year, the teachers were so overwhelmed that it was just kind of, kind of a little bit of a mess but this year they've had more time to prepare. So it's a lot better this year. Um, and I like it because I get to work at my own pace. 
it's fun that way. And now I get to do violin person or violin lessons. And uh, yeah, so that's fun. But I do miss seeing people. And um, so I do miss that about school. But overall, I think it's okay. And we also chose it because I get sick really easily. But some of my family members have some medical issues as well. And so we figured it would just be safer to have uh, most of us do online for a while and just see what happens. Well, thank you, Sadie and Vance. I really appreciate you being in, willing to do, you know, to take part in this. And I just want to encourage people to, if you haven't already signed up to be an organ donor, to consider it. Go to yesidaho.org. You can register there and you can get lots of information. And then just kind of throwing out one other good news um, with the pandemic. Because again, I know this has been a tough year for everyone, but kind of in those first few weeks when it started to be a big deal in the United States and things started to shut down, we were actually really concerned about how it would impact organ recovery and transplant. But I'm happy to say that, you know, we're still able to recover organs and people are still making that decision. You know, it's on the toughest day of their life, they're still making the decision to help someone else. And so the good news is that transplants are still happening and, and lives are continuing to be safe. So thanks, Thank Tony. You. Thanks, Vince. Thanks, Sadie. It was great to meet you.